Welcome to Media Farm, health information with a personal touch. I'm Dr. Dean Elb. Shingles can be very painful, but don't call a carpenter or look up on your roof. I'm talking about the skin lesions that occur when a dormant virus gets reactivated in the body. Watch this podcast to learn more. The chicken pox virus is the same one that causes shingles. The culprit is herpes zoster. You likely had chicken pox as a child, but the virus didn't disappear when the spots healed. The zoster virus lies dormant in our nerve cells for years, waiting to reactivate when the body's immunity dips. About one third of adults will get shingles. Severe complications can occur if the eyes are involved or your immune system is compromised. Specialist treatment is usually needed in these cases. The tingling, itching, blistering rash that characteristically occurs in a strip on one half of the body or face usually lasts two to four weeks, but for some, this is just the start of the pain. 10% of patients who get shingles have pain that lasts longer than four months after the rash appears. This is post-herpetic neuralgia, and it has a big effect on quality of life, making it hard to sleep, move comfortably, or wear fitted clothing. Here are five things you can do to combat herpes zoster. One, get vaccinated. Vaccine given to older adults with healthy immune systems cuts the rate of shingles in half and lowers rates of post-herpetic neuralgia by two thirds. Two, don't spread it around. Be careful if you have shingles, you can spread the virus to those who've never had chicken pox or the vaccine. Three, act fast. Antiviral drugs taken within 72 hours of rash appearance reduce pain, speed healing, and reduce risk of complications and post-herpetic neuralgia. Four, keep it clean. Wash the area with soap and water and carefully pat dry to prevent bacterial infection. Apply a sterile dressing to protect the lesions from further damage. Wear loose, comfortable clothing over the affected areas. Five, control the pain. Get a handle on the pain early to prevent post-herpetic neuralgia. Several options for pain control include over-the-counter acetaminophen or ibuprofen, while more severe pain may warrant stronger pain relievers. Medications effective for nerve pain like gabapentin, amitriptyline, and local anesthetics such as lidocaine or pain messenger depleting capsaicin products can help. If you think you have shingles or are struggling with post-herpetic neuralgia, talk with your doctor. Act today to increase your chance to be pain-free down the road. This has been Dr. Dean Elb wishing you well from Media Farm. Health information with a personal touch. <laughs>